So this TikToker wanted to go horseback riding and she contacts a horse ranch and schedules a ride. And she gets there and apparently they wouldn't let her ride because there's a weight limit and she happens to weigh more than the 240 pound limit. And according to her, they were rude to her about it while turning her away. They told me that I could not go on the horse because I was too big, but they didn't tell me that in the beginning. So in response, she posts this TikTok about it. Shout out to Deep Hollow Ranch for making me leave because I weigh over 240. But she's got a big audience. So the video blows up pretty quickly and gets several million views. And her audience sees the video and they get mad and they start review bombing the ranch on Yelp. This horse ranch is terrible. I would never ride horses here. Are all horses hung like a horse? And in response to the review bombing, an employee of the ranch, who also happens to be the owner's son, he makes a TikTok. When you're not a fat f you can ride a deep all ranch. And wow, that is, that is definitely a response. So of course that response blows up and that's when traditional news sources start picking up the story. She was turned away yeah. from a horse ranch because of her weight. So then Deep Hollow Ranch sees that their employee did that and they go to Facebook to post an apology. Basically just saying that they don't agree with the employee and that what he posted was not cool. So then the employee has to make another video, but this time apologizing. I didn't mean it at all. It was my own decision and had nothing to do with them. It was all on my own. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. No, I don't have any proof of this, but I swear that guy was absolutely forced to make that apology. Like, does he not look like he just got yelled at by his dad? And so during all this, the internet was just brutal to the influencer. Like saying the awful things I won't repeat. Like anytime I talk about a video and there's like a bigger woman in it, the internet will just be unnecessarily cruel to her. The internet is just not kind to overweight women in particular. It's really sad. Anyway, if this horse ranch drama sounded familiar to you, that's because it happened back in 2022. And I wanted to see, did any of this drama have an effect a year later? Well, it seems that since then, Yelp has removed all the negative influencer related reviews, getting the ranch back up to a four star rating. And the influencer, well, she's now sitting at a comfortable 2.2 million followers. So she's doing okay. And this guy, well, I actually have no idea. It seems like he deleted all his social media. So for the most part, I feel like the horse drama had no lasting impact. 